Ke Bali. Ya. Uh, oh, there you are. Where would you like to do are it? Are we going to sit down and talk? Sure. You, are you waiting? No, I already did it. You no, did it? You tell you about the tour. You saw me? You got shot, bro. I'll be one to do it. Are we in your shot? Here. Yeah. So. Let's do this one first. Stand it on. It's a good story. The best. So first of all, how was Italy, and when did you fly in from Florence, Rome? Uh, I literally just got here a couple hours ago. Really? <laughs> yeah. It was beautiful. Like, uh, when did you leave Italy? I left Italy. We had a drive. I left out of Milan. So we had a four-hour drive to Milan. Right. We left Milan. When? Uh, the reason I ask is that I want to know what the weather was like, because I'm going there on the street. Oh, uh, the weather was beautiful. It was, um, it was just like this, maybe a little bit cooler, because it's, it's hot here. But okay at night. Yeah. Cooler. Okay at night, yeah. yeah. And, uh, so yeah. when did you fly out of Italy? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Thursday. Yesterday? Yes, because of the six hour time difference. So literally, like, I, I, was in, I feel like I was in Italy today. Like, that's how it feels. <laughs> and, you, and you flew to New York and then New York, right? Yes, exactly. And they're uh, there they're waiting for me. I, I made a pit stop here, and I go right to Jersey to film again. Because you film on Monday. You start filming Monday. Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> Do you know that expression, there's no peace for the wicked? Yes, I heard that. <laughs> no, does it feel like that? Yeah, no rest, but I like it. I like to be busy. Yeah. I'm glad I was able to come out here, though. It's good. This is a big weekend for you. Yes. The first. Um, I, I want to get a rise out of you by saying Celine Dion is a resident, uh, Garth Brooks is a resident, and now you you have your own residency. Do you feel like them? That is amazing. <laughs> I feel like them <laughs> a little bit. Right. It's amazing though. It's, I still got goosebumps talking about it. It's, yep. it's been great. You ever think back to what you were doing in the camera roll the first time on the site? What the hell happened? Every day. Yeah. Every day I'm like, yeah. I, I don't know how I got here, <laughs> how this happened, but I used to just DJ in at local spots in Rhode Island. And I was happy. I was just. And that was all you did, just DJ. And I sold cars during the day. I was in the car business for ten years. Secondhand cars, old cars, both new and used. And were you a good salesman? Yeah. 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 Sold a lot of cars. Yeah. That was cool. And you DJ by night, and you needed the two jobs. Yeah. Go well. A DJ isn't even a job to me. It was car business was paying the bills. DJ was my my, my fun, my passion. So. And then uh, along came the camp. Yes. And what made you say yes to the offer? Um, I don't know. It, it was the craziest thing too. I got a message on MySpace. They said that they liked my look for a show that they wanted to do. Which they didn't even know the name of the show. And I didn't even know if I should give this person my number. But I ended up giving them my number. And they called me back from LA the next day. And they said that we want to send out a camera crew to film a day in your life. And I'm like, alright, <laughs> why not? So they did that. And they're like, alright, just do it. The camera crew got to my house. That's when I knew it was real. And they said that, just do what you normally do. I took him to the gym, I took him tanning, I took him to the, uh, I picked up my laundry, then I went DJing. And that was it. And then uh, like six months later, they said I got on the show. And at that point, I still didn't know what it was. You had no idea? No, I did. It's changed your life completely? Yes. For completely. the good or for the bad? For the good. For the good. good. Yeah, it's been a blessing for me. Not just the money, and, and not just the fame, but what other ways? Um, DJing is what I, what I love to do, I've been doing it my whole life, and um, it gave me, the show gave me this huge audience to uh, let me DJ all over the world, but I have to show them that I can actually DJ, so like they gave me this one shot in Las Vegas to show them what I can do, and um, they approved, so that was, they gave me this residency, and that's a dream come true for me. So the fame aside, the money aside, I'm doing what I love to do. Now, uh, you, you're in the middle of shooting season three, Super Bowl season, Italy. Italy is the fourth, and uh, the fifth is what I'm moving on to next. Right. So you have you finished season four with Italy? Yes, Italy's done. Italy's done. Yes, wrapped. And how is that? Amazing. Like uh, Italy was beautiful, like I said. But um, now bring the Jersey Shore crew out there. We're gonna bring some drama. I mean, we always that drama. Yeah, always. I mean, we get ourselves into some, some drama, some real. Uh, I have fun. I mean, I try to stay away from drama. I like to watch it, but. These kids, we got ourselves into some drama, and you'll see it out there in Italy. <laughs> arrested by the police? Not really arrested. Uh, I mean, uh, Snoopy got into a car accident, and I probably heard about. Yeah. Um, that was scary because it's hard to drive out there. The, the roads are really narrow, oh. and there's, there's scooters. Oh my God, scooters everywhere. 
herself, but she was okay and she didn't get arrested. So she scraped the police car. Yes. Just, you believe that? Just go after the fight, right? So when I got that call, I was like, are you kidding me? How did you find them in the end? Because there was like a lot of resistance to you going over there and then... I, uh, did you win them over? Yeah, I mean, I heard all the rumors that they didn't want us to do this, we couldn't drink, well, we couldn't stay at the other thing. Well, they published the rules in the paper. Yeah, and, and I didn't see any of those rules. Like, literally, we went in museums. I met the mayor the last day. And he loves us. Yeah? Yeah, he's 35 years old. Oh, yeah, yeah. The mayor of Florence? Yeah. Oh, so you won them over as well? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, and so you start uh, shooting season okay. five on Monday? Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> and then you go off on your own series? Yes. Four of you go off. Yes. Snooky, situation. Snooky. Yep. And J Y. J Y. And do you know yet what your series is going to be about? Yep. It's, mine's basically uh, my life, like what it was before the shore, um, what happened during the shore, what happened after it, and um, it's going to film me DJing out here, so we're based in Las Vegas. And um, it is going to be. Out here. Yes. And uh, it's my my friends. It's like my entourage. Um, it kind of reminds me of Entourage and a little bit of the hangover mixed in one. So entourage fun. and hangover. Yeah, it makes them one. Now, um, what's your romantic status on the show now? I'm single still. Um, single, but you were with. You can't watch the show. I, wa um, I met a girl in Miami that um, I still keep in contact with. We're just friends, but nothing really serious ended up coming out of that. So you're still single. Still single. And you weren't dating somebody on the show. Not really. I met a girl that was cool that we were like hanging out a lot. Season five. When season five is over, that gives you a little time for romance. Because you can't have romance if you're shooting, shooting, shooting. Yeah, you're that, you're that's what's tough for me. I'm, I'm constantly moving. I'm constantly doing something. So it's right. tough for me to find somebody. I have to find somebody in the industry or something. Is this a case of strike while the iron is hot? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Um, I know this is last forever. I'm trying to make the right decisions now to set myself up for life. So. How old are you? I'm 39. 30. Yep. Um, probably. Yeah. <laughs> I think about that all the time. Yeah? Does it worry you? Does it frighten you? Does it scare you? It's just that it happened so quick and um, I'm afraid to make a wrong decision and uh, that could affect the future because I'm what? like learning as I go. Yeah. What, what sort of kept your feet on the ground and that you didn't explode like so many other stars do? Music. Like everything, no matter if I'm stressed, anxiety, whatever, I'll throw the headphones on, music, DJing, it's like my stress reliever, it's like my medicine. So no drugs, no drinking? Nah, no drugs. I, I drink casually. Um, so when do you start shooting your series, your series? We don't, trying to get the time with we don't exactly have a date yet, but I know it's after we wrap. Like, so I'll wrap Jersey in August. Jersey 5. Jersey 5 in August. August. Maybe have a little bit of a break and then, then start filming, or maybe go right into it, I'm not sure. And you're able to cope with all of this madness and insanity? Yeah, you gotta do it. I'd love to be busy. But this sounds very busy. Yes. And have, have you changed homes? Have you changed cars? Have you changed. What trappings have you added to your life yet? I, uh, I got a couple of cars, I got a lot of motorcycles. And um, as far as what's home, I don't really know. Uh, I mean, I have a place in Rhode Island. I got a place in Florida now, in Boca. And then uh, hopefully have a place out here in Vegas. Maybe call that one. I sell you one above your <laughs> That would be great. <laughs> you might as well live where, you, where you're working. I would right? love that. Where yeah. you're working yeah. I love it out here. Um, and, and longer range goals take you where? Where do you think that? Um, where you don't dare think about? I do, and um, I still see myself DJing. I still want to do something with music, maybe spend some time in the studio producing, maybe even work with some artists or something. And then um, 